Our story for today is called The Hare and the Tortoise. An Aesop's Fable. And I know that in grade two you look at some of Aesop's fables, so you'll know this story, I think. The day that Tortoise challenged Hare to a race, all the animals laughed so hard that their tummies ached. But Tortoise was fed up with Hare whizzing around him all the time, teasing him about how slow he was. I'll show that Hare if it's the last thing I do, Tortoise promised himself. Hare thought that Tortoise's little joke was extremely funny. For, all, for that's all Hare thought it was, a joke. Hare never expected that Tortoise would actually go through with his mad idea. So his eyes nearly popped out of his head when he arrived at the starting line to see Tortoise already there limbering up in a slow, stiff, creaky sort of way. Be careful there, old chap, Hare worried as he realized his friend was serious. You don't want to do yourself an injury. Don't worry about me, replied Tortoise. You should be working out how you're going to beat me. Ha! Huh? You won't see me for dust. Here's all the animals at the starting line. Can you see the tortoise? Right over there. A huge crowd of animals had gathered to watch the race, and they all cheered and clapped and jumped up and down at Tortoise's bold remark. Suddenly, Hare started to feel rather annoyed. All right, then, if that's the way you want it, he snapped. I was going to give you a head start, but obviously you won't be wanting one. No need breezed Tortoise, although his little heart was pumping inside his shell. First one to the windmill's the winner. Hare peered into the distance. The windmill was three fields away. He could get there in less than a minute without losing his breath. But surely it would take Tortoise all day to reach it. Three, two, twit, two, one, cried the barn owl. And Tortoise lifted one leg over the starting line amid thunderous applause. The stunned hare watched in amazement as Tortoise began to crawl slowly away. Well, you have to hand it to Tortoise, Hare thought, seeing the funny side of things again. He certainly got a good sense of humor and a lot of guts. Hare sat down next to the starting line under a shady tree. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful sunny day, and it was very pleasant to sit there in the dappled light, watching Tortoise amble peacefully into the field. Hare's eyes shut and his head drooped before he even realized he was sleepy. Meanwhile, Tortoise was remembering what Mum had told him as a child. Slow and steady does it, son. Slow and steady does it. And Tortoise kept on going and didn't give up. Hare didn't wake up until the night air was so cold that it was freezing his whiskers. Where am I? he thought, and then suddenly he remembered the race. Hare leapt to his feet and squinted into the moonlight, but there was no sign of tortoise. All at once he heard a faint sound of a cheering coming from a long way off, and he saw a tiny dark figure jumping up and down around the windmill. Surely not, Hare gasped and shot off over the field like an arrow. He arrived at the windmill, just in time to see all the animals hoisting Tortoise, the champion, on their shoulders. And of course, after that, Hare never ever teased his friend about being slow again. So that's the Hare and the Tortoise.